everyone, I am Ming, and today's task is to listen to a story quietly. Yes. So my little sister picked this book, Dumbo, and it's about this elephant. So now let's read it. And he has talents. Dumbo's ears caused a lot of trouble for him. They were so large that he often tripped over them, and people laughed at the clumsy little elephant. Let's read here. One day, Dumbo hid away in a quiet corner of the circus tent with his best friend Timony, T Timothy Q. Mass. They curled up in a pile of hay and then fell fast asleep. Next. When he woke up, Dumbo was amazed to find himself perched high in the branches of a tree, far from the circus tent where he had fallen asleep. Timothy Q. Mouse was just sitting on his hat. How did I get here? asked a very surprised Dumbo. Timothy Q. Mouse explained that he had flown up into the tree like a bird. Dumbo could hardly believe it. Next page. With encouragement from Timothy Q. Mass, Dumbo flapped his giant ears and was soon gliding through the sky once again. Back at the circus, it was time for Dumbo to perform, but he had a surprise plan. Instead of falling down to the net below, he was going to take flight. Flight? Dumbo, Dumbo. The crowd went wild when Dumbo took flight. They cheered and clapped as the clever elephant soared over their heads. Dumbo's mother, who had always known how special her baby was, trumpeted with pride. <laughs> the whole back of the And that's the end of the story. Let's read the back. So the back says, Everyone at the circus laughs at Dumbo and his giant ears. He's miserable, until one day he discovers that his ears can do something truly amazing. <coughs> Join Dumbo and his best friend Timothy Q. Mass as they learn that it's what you make different that it's what makes you different that makes you truly special. And that's the back and the end of our video. And Dumbo is from Disney. Yes. Disney.